Alright guys, today I've got for you part two, and this is going to be part two of um, my other video on how to use APK tool, this little tool right here, to theme and edit Android applications. Um, so, uh, if you watched part one, you should understand what I have right here, these files, because um, you'll see it in the first video and understand where to get them. Obviously, you can get them in the video description for part one or in this video description down below, right down there. Um, Go ahead and watch part one though if you um, are seeing this one. This is the part one was how to do um, an edit, kind of theming some of the images for user applications. So stuff you would download from Google Play. Um, and part two here is going to be on editing system applications uh, and how to do that for strictly for images. Um, so. Specifically, we're going to try this Framework Res system UI also works the same way. Framework Res is most of your user interface, uh, the graphical stuff on that. Um, so, you make sure you've got all these things set up already um, from the last video, specifically your APK1 and APK127 have to be set up to do this or else they will not uh, decompile and compile correctly. That being said, uh, first thing we're going to do here on this interface, again the zip look I'm sending you guys looks like this. In this, in this uh, setup you're also going to make sure you have 7-zip installed. This is the install file which you'll see in the zip I gave you guys. And make sure you have that installed because you're going to need it to do this, these steps. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and again hit shift on our, hold shift on our keyboard, right click in this window and open a command window right here and you're gonna have this thing right here so also make sure your framework res and system UI are right here in this folder which is the APK tool folder so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna decompile those and if you remember our commands from before it was just APK tool D for decompile and then the name of the framework so framework dash res dot apk and hit enter and this is going to go ahead and decompile the framework res apk that you've extracted from your device and that's done and we're just going to just for the sake of it we're also going to decompile so apk tool d and this is system ui dot apk and we'll decompile that one also and okay so there you go both those decompiled we're gonna go ahead and close out terminal on terminal this is command prompt is what this is but it's the same kind of thing as terminal on a Linux machine so close that out and now you actually created these two files these are your two compiled applications so what we're gonna do here is just drill into framework and res we're gonna go to the res and then we're gonna go to this is your main drawable folder so this is um, Drawable HDPI, and these are all the things you can pretty much edit in any kind of picture editing. Um, it's a lot of the phone, a whole lot of it, specifically the user interface. Like you just want to change the default wallpaper, you can just change that. So your default wallpaper changes when like, you boot up your phone. Um, it's really simple. Uh, you can change your little smiley faces when you put smiley faces in text. If you want to have some special smiley face, you can do that. Uh, let's see here if I can find the file I was looking for to change here for you guys. Should be coming up. There's a lot of files in here. This one's just really easy to show. Um, it's an it's an icon file. Here we go. We're coming up on it now. Here's your battery stuff. You can change that. So you want to change the way your battery looks? You can do it very easily. Um, so right here this is actually I've actually already edited this but basically you just click on something and I don't want to edit with that I'm gonna go open with we'll do edit what we'll do so it opens it in paint and zoom zoom in so you guys can see it and then let's say I want to just change it to like a grayscale in the or let's do a light grayscale in the background and voila so now it looks like that and you can say save it and we'll close um, so just so I can show you this I actually made it blue it was originally gray 
So I'm going to show you guys on my phone really quick what I have in there right now installed. Because then we're going to go to the next install thing. So we got, we got this file. And all you've got to do to get it into your phone is, let's see here if I can do this. PK Tools, see my shortcuts. All right, so there it is. Um, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to take our framework res, the original one we just decompiled. We're going to open with 7-zip. And then we're going to go to, now we got 7-zip open. We're going to go to res, drawable, HDPI. And then this is where that fi folder was. You can see right here, framework, res, drawable, HDPI. And then all we're going to do is we're going to take the one we edited and we're just going to drag it and drop it. And this is 7-zip and 7-zip says basically, do you want to copy it to the archive? And you just say yes. And it's copied. And it actually replaced the one, the original one. And you'll know where it's at by this. This create date has changed right there. So then all we got to do is close this. And that file that you just edited is now inside of this framework right here, framework res file. So let me just show you guys the one I had in there originally. We just made it gray. It was blue, right? So let me pull up my uh, phone and show this to you. So you see that little icon right there? It's blue. It's got the little uh, logo on it. And it pl turns on and off when you plug your phone to the computer. I just, there you go, I unplugged it, and I'll plug it back in. See it? That's the icon we edited. It works the same with all, all, all little images in this, in this uh, folder. So there it is. That's what I've got in here right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and I'm going to go ahead and go into, let's see here, my computer, and I'm going to open up, if I can find it. I gotta change my uh, phone mode. It's not charge only mode right now because I want to connect it to the computer and send that uh, file over. So let's do that really quick. Okay. All right. So here we go. We're gonna pop up some stuff. All right, and we're going to open. This is my phone right here. Um, so this is where I put the, my edited APK. This is my old one. I'm going to delete it. And we're going to take that new APK right here. And we just put that new drawable image in of gray. Copy. Paste it in here. Okay. Close this out. And then the rest is going to be done from the phone. So let me uh, show you guys that. From here. We're going to go ahead and unplug the phone because we just sent that uh, file over in, onto our SD card. Um, and we're going to need a, you're obviously, obviously going to have to have a root permission to do this. And you're going to need to go into an application like ES File Explorer. This is a root file explorer. And first thing we're going to do is go to Edit APKs where I stored it. And we're going to highlight the Framework Res APK. And we're going to copy it. And then we're going to back out back out and we're going to go to system framework and that's where the existing one is right now um, and we're going to paste it there and it's going to actually force close the phone but the first thing you need to do is you need to go into root explorer and you need to go to read write and make sure that everything is on read write on the right see all the dots hit OK. If you don't do that, you don't have permission to actually paste this in here. So then all you gotta do is it's just gonna replace it. So you say paste and it says you wanna override the existing framework file. You say yes, override and basically what's gonna happen is your phone's gonna crash um, because it's using the framework right now um, what's there and the phone's gonna be like, ah, we can't replace it, we gotta crash and there you go, it just crashed. Um, that is okay not a big deal. All we got to do is one more thing after this and you will see that we now took that blue icon and we've changed it back to gray which is stock. 
um, and I'll just show you guys how that works when this boots up. It does normally do a pretty quick reboot. Um, there you go, you can see it didn't take too long to do it. And last thing you want to do is go back into ES File Explorer. Go back in there and go back to the file you just put in there, which was under System, Framework, and scroll back to it. Where is it at here? There it is. Highlight it. More. Click Properties. And we want to change the permissions. So permissions right here, it says Change. And we want to change it to that. User is the first two. Group is the first one and other is the first one. Hit OK. And our permissions have changed because that is the permissions of the original um, framework res.apk. And we can close out of this. Close out, close out. And we're going to connect up our USB cable here and show you guys that the icon is back to gray. Let me uh, zoom in on this. There you go, your icon's back to gray. You've just edited um, an icon, or you can do it with a battery or anything, uh, on your framework res. That's that's pretty it. It's pretty much just copy-paste. You, you decompile so you can see what you're working with, and then you just copy-paste it over in 7-zip. So guys, that's pretty much it right there. You've just uh, sent that image over and you've replaced the framework res manually. Uh, that is pretty much the steps. This is on my uh, Droid Droid X right now, just because it's an easy phone for me to work on. Um, but that's how you can do it. You can do that with the system UI. You can do the APK. You can do it with the framework res APK. Any any system you any system APK that this will work to do. So that is my part two on. Um, in editing and kind of theming uh, system applications. So I hope you guys like this. I'm going to try to keep going on this stuff a little bit more. It's kind of interesting to me. Like I said, everything you guys are going to need will be linked in the video description down below. Um, hope you enjoyed this and have some fun with it. Play around. Make sure you know how to restore your phone in case you mess something up and you're pretty much good to go. Uh, so hope you like it. As always, please follow me right here at rootjunkie.com. Lots of great information on there. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook or Twitter right over there. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Okay, guys, a little quick uh, video here just to show you this. I have a PS here. I went ahead and edited my battery to blue. You can kind of see it right there. I thought that was kind of cool. And actually, as it drops down below 60%, it goes green and other colors like that. Very easy to do. Um, but I just want to show you this because you guys noticed, I don't know if you noticed in my uh, transparency, or I should say in my battery icon here, you can, you can see it right here. I uh, got rid of that white outline around the uh, icon. Alright, so you see where I got rid of that white outline around the icon. Uh, the reason it had that white outline is because the I was using paint to edit it, just for really basic, and paint does not allow for transparencies. Um, so that white is a transparency. So I had to use something called uh, GIMP 2, uh, an application to edit it. I mean, I'm sure if you had Adobe Photoshop, it would work fine too. But uh, just be aware of that. If you edit in something basic like paint, you're not going to have the transparency. So you're going to end up with like white borders around everything. I did it with my battery status first too. Um, so just make sure you have an editing application that allows for transparencies. So you don't get those white outlines around all your uh, little icons and stuff. Just wanted to bring that up. Uh, thanks, guys, again, and catch you later.